Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Filmora video editing series. In this video, we will see how to add the rain effect in any video using Filmora 11. We are going to use one of the effects from Filmora 11 and we will add a rain effect in this video. Let me first play the original video. So this is the original video and let me show you how it will look after adding the rain effect in this video. So this is the video that we have created after adding the rain effect. So this is how the rain effect will look. You can change the speed of the rain effect. You can also change the rain drop effect. You can change the angle of the rain. Even you can also change the color of the rain effect. So let's see how we can do this. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm on the dashboard of the Filmora 11 and I have two sample videos that I have downloaded from Pexels. Pexels is a part of Filmora 11 so you can download sample videos from Pexels, Giphy, Pixabay. So let me get this video on the timeline and we are going to add the rain effect on this video. So this is the video. Let me get some music also. So I've got one music also. So I'm going to cut this video here at let's say 9 seconds. Right, so let's play the video. This is the original the video. Now we are going to add the rain effect. So let's go to effects. And under effects, you will see this option Boris FX. So we are going to use the Boris FX effect to add the rain effect to the video. If you don't know how to install the Boris FX, then you can watch my previous video. I'll give you the link in the description box and you can watch how to install the Boris FX in Filmora 11. So I have got the Boris FX here and under Boris FX you will see this option BCC Particle. Go to BCC Particle and under BCC Particle you, you will see this effect. So this is the effect that you are going to use. Click on it, drag it and drop it here. And let's increase the width, the length of this effect. Now let's see how the default rain effect looks. We are going to change the settings. So this is how the default rain effect will look. Now we are going to change the effect settings. So double click on it. And here you will see preset options also. In the next part of the video, we will see how to use the preset. So here you will see different settings, rain amount. You can increase the rain amount or decrease the rain amount from here. So let me show you. So I'm going to increase it. And you will see the increase in the rain. Okay, so let's decrease a little bit. Okay, now this is the rain angle you can change the rain angle let's see so here you can see that i have changed the rain angle rain speed you can change the speed also so i'm going to increase the speed so you will see the increase in the rain speed or you can also decrease it and make it slow Right, so let's make a default setting rain depth so you can change the rain depth also so let's see if i change it now blur effect if you want to add blur effect you can add blur effect so this is how it will look so i'm going to make it zero and now here you will see the random speed now let's go to the next option that is rain drops and here you can change the color of the raindrops. Right now it is set to white. You can also change the color. However, I don't think that will look good. Let's see. Let's change it to yellow or somewhat green. So you can change the color of the raindrops. I'm going to set it to white. And this is the size of the raindrops. You can increase the size or decrease it. Opacity, you can change the opacity so it will look 
darker on the video. Now brightness variance. From here you can change the variance. And here you will see the option blend drop shape that will be lines or streaks. If I change it to streaks, you will see the difference here. So you will see line effect or the stick effect. So I'm going to change it to lines. And from here, you will see different settings, system settings. You can play with the settings and you can adjust the rain that you want. You can adjust the look of the rain that you want on your video. Now here you will see the option splash on the ground. If I check it, you will see the splashes here. So here you will see the difference. You will see the splash here. Let me play it and you will see it. So at the bottom, you will see the splash. The rain drops are splashing. You can also change the height of this patch. So if I increase it. So after dropping to the ground, the drops are splashing. So I'm going to reduce the splash angle, the splash height. And you can change the splash angle also. So this is how, this is how you can change this splash angle and splash height so I'm going to disable it if you want you can enable the splash and these are the pix pixel chooser if you want to make changes if you want to play with the changes you can play with the changes and you will definitely see the difference in the video right now let me play the video again So you can increase or decrease the rain amount and you can play with the setting. Let me click OK and export this video. Okay, now we will see how to use the preset option in rain effect. So let me delete this rain effect and go back to the effects, particles, Boris effects, go to BCC particle and get the BCC rain here, effect here. Increase the length, double click on it. And here you will see the FX browser. Click on the FX browser. Now here you can compare different effects. So these are the presets that you can use. So this is the default one, the alt default. This one is a default. You can play and you will see the difference. So you can compare the effect with the original video. So let's use this one. And if you want to use it, you can select the effect and click on apply okay so the preset effect has been applied let's play the video right now you will see all the settings are automatically set on this preset if you even want to change the settings you can change the settings here manually Alright, so this is how you can use the rain effect in any video using Boris FX effects. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.